Hi, my name is David Gruer. In this talk, I will present BALM, a quality of service aware memory bandwidth partitioning for multi-socket cloud nodes. This is a joint work with my supervisors, Professors Vladimir Vilasov, KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden, and João Pareto from University of Lisbon in Portugal. Today, workload consolidation is a widely used technique to improve server resource utilization. With workload consolidation, multiple workloads are consolidated on the same physical servers. Among the consolidated applications, some have quality of service requirements as defined by one or more service level objectives. These are commonly called latency critical applications. In contrast, other applications have no QS requirements and they are meant to run in some best effort fashion to optimize their throughput. These are called best effort applications. Another technological trend that has significant impact on workload consolidation is the preference of multi-socket systems in modern data centers. In such systems, uh, bandwidth-intensive best effort applications benefit by interleaving its data sets across all available memory nodes. However, the collocated applications contain for shared uh, hardware resources, such as memory bandwidth. And this poses a challenging uh, quality of service aware resource allocation problem. That is, the shared resources should be allocated in such a way that safeguards the SLO of LCS while maximizing the throughput of the best effort applications. This is inherently dynamic uh, problem since uh, resource usage by each application can change at any time. Existing solutions solve the problem by partitioning uh, resources, such as uh, dedicating cores, partitioning caches, partitioning memory bandwidth, and they dynamically adjust partitions whenever the resource usage uh, shifts. However, these solutions are tailored to single socket architectures only. Uh, specifically, they disallow cross-circuit sharing of memory. This entails suboptimal use of uh, multi-socket host uh, aggregate memory uh, resources. Cross-socket sharing of memory could also easily lead to performance interference in that the demand that uh, some application places on some shared resources, such as memory bandwidth, could easily lead to performance degradation of other collocated applications, such as latency critical applications, uh, leading to SLO violations. And this raises a crucial uh, question. That is, how can we fix this SLO violation due to memory bandwidth contention? One possibility is to use a recently released Intel memory bandwidth allocation mechanism, MBA. MBA provides uh, an approximate and indirect uh, per core control over memory bandwidth. Therefore, in this example, we can actually use MBA to throttle the memory bandwidth of uh, best effort applications from 100% to 10% to fix the SLO violation. This solution is really fast because it's a hardware-based uh, mechanism, but it has some relevant cost on the performance of best effort applications. That is, it unnecessarily throttles the local memory bandwidth instead of just throttling the uh, remote uh, memory bandwidth of the best effort application. Another possibility is to migrate uh, a fraction of BS pages from LCS memory node to fix the SLO violation. Uh, page migration can adjust the memory bandwidth on a per core, on a per memory node granularity, unlike the per core granularity of MBA. However, page migration is slow because it, in, it involves uh, intensive data movement and uh, uh, management overheads. But compared to MBA, it is more efficient for the best effort uh, uh, applications. Therefore, our contributions are twofold. So as a first contribution, we studied the hardware mechanism of Intel for memory bandwidth allocation in a multi-socket uh, scenarios. And we showed that uh, MBA unnecessarily reduces the throughput of BS by considerable margins. As the main, main contribution, we propose BALM, a novel quality of service aware memory bandwidth allocation technique for cross-circuit sharing of uh, memory in multi-socket architectures. And the key insight of BALM is to combine uh, MBA with a novel cross-socket page migration scheme to obtain the best of both worlds. BALM uses MBA and page migration together to unveil a new two-dimensional allocation mechanism. To illustrate this, consider this figure that depicts the performance of best effort application in a two-dimensional uh, perspective. Each dimension uh, denotes a single parameter that tunes each allocation uh, mechanisms. 
for memory bandwidth allocation, we have the MBA level assigned to the best effort applications. And for page migration, we have the ratio between uh, the local and remote interleaving uh, weights. And the cell values represent the speed up of uh, best effort application over an unshared approach, the top left uh, configuration. So ideally, when the LCA is operating at a low load, so the best effort application can actually pick the optimal configuration that optimizes its throughput. However, when LCA enters a high load uh, phase, some of these configurations become invalid, marked with uh, crosses. And therefore, the system should be moved to a valid uh, uh, configuration. To do this, we can use uh, MBA and page migration, MBA and page migration that we discussed earlier. So for MBA, you change the, the MBA level. And for page migration, you tune the local to remote uh, uh, ratio. However, we have shown that these two mechanisms have uh, some shortcomings if you stand alone. And therefore, BALMB uh, fixes the SLO violation in two steps. So first, it sets the MBA to its most restrictive uh, level. And then it apply an incremental uh, page migration while gradually releasing the MBA uh, throttling. And uh, in the end, BALMP is expected to be as quick as MBA in fixing SLO violation. And it should also be optimal uh, in terms of uh, best effort uh, uh, throughput as uh, page migration does. Our evaluation uh, addresses two key questions. What performance advantage does BALMP bring to memory intensive BS on dual socket NUMA systems? And how effective is BALMP in fixing SLO violations? So we compare BALMP with MBA and page migration used as standalone mechanisms. And we also compare to, to it uh, with an unshared alternative where memory bandwidth is not shared between the two applications. For best effort applications, we use multi-threaded benchmarks from several benchmark suits. And for latency critical application, we use MemCatchD, a distributed object catching systems. We evaluate BALM on a dual socket uh, system with two NUMA nodes and MBA supports. And we present the evaluation of BALM for two consolidated applications, uh, one LCA and one uh, best effort applications, each on its own uh, sockets. So this figure denotes uh, the speed up of the best effort applications on X axis and the SLO violation time of uh, latency critical application on Y axis. For diff that can be obtained by different uh, mechanisms when LCA is operating at a fraction of its max load indicated by the percentage uh, values. So for speed up of the BS, the right is better. And for SLO violation time of LCA, lower is better. So you can see that uh, for, S for SLO violation time, uh, MBA uh, achieves the best uh, performance. So it has uh, lower uh, values for SLO violation time and uh, page migration is worse. In terms of speed up, uh, page migration is, is good, MBA is worst. In contrast, BAM tries to achieve uh, the best of both uh, mechanisms. So it has a lower SLO violation time and higher throughput for best effort applications. We also observe uh, similar results for other applications. For detailed analysis, please see uh, the paper. In conclusion, we have shown that the state-of-the-art uh, quality of service uh, resource allocation system needs to be generalized to allow cross-circuit sharing of memory. And to this end, we propose BALM that can safeguard the LCS with a marginal SLO violation windows while delivering a considerable throughput gains to bandwidth-intensive uh, applications.